These days, major movie studios mark their spots on the release schedule years ahead of time, and it seems like audiences have to wait forever once a film is announced. But before you know it, we'll all be buying our tickets for summer 2018's hottest big-screen blockbusters. From superhero sequels to explosive crime thrillers to mind-bending horror flicks, it looks like there's a whole lineup of films that are well worth the wait. Among the dozens of promising projects slated for release, here are some of the movies that are going to hit big. Hereditary According to critics, Hereditary isn't your run-of-the-mill fright flick. It's a movie that's going to leave you shaken to your very core. Starring Tony Collette, Hereditary tells the story of a family dealing with grief after the passing of a grandmother. Unfortunately, Grandma might not be gone, and she might not be so friendly. The AV Club described the film as pure emotional terrorism, and it's got an ending that Daily Dead compared to movies like Carrie and The Witch. In other words, prepare yourself for some cinematic trauma. Ocean's 8 Using the same basic premise of Ocean's 11, a group of quirky cons pull off an incredibly elaborate heist, Ocean's 8 has done a gender swap. A movie like this relies on the likability of its cast. Similar to the George Clooney version, Ocean's 8 has assembled one of the very best teams in recent memory. With an actor lineup this awesome, it seems likely that Ocean's 8 will totally be able to hold its own against Steven Soderbergh's classic. Do we have to steal stuff? Yes. Incredibles 2 14 years after the release of The Incredibles, our crime-fighting family is ready to save the world yet again, and Incredibles 2 is going to pick up right where the old one left off. As for the plot, the exact details are hard to find, but we know Craig T. Nelson's Mr. Incredible will be staying at home, watching after his super-powered baby, while Holly Hunter's Elastigirl goes on an adventure and stretches her superpowers to new limits. Bob Odenkirk and Katherine Keener have also joined the cast, and while we don't know who they're playing yet, there's a good chance they might be some sort of dastardly duo. Bye, sweetie. I'll watch the kids, no problem. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom when Jurassic World roared into theaters in 2015, it quickly became the fourth highest grossing film of all time, raking in nearly $1.7 billion. Now, with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, not only will we get to see raptors run amok, but we'll also watch an abandoned theme park get blown to smithereens. Directed by J.A. Bayona, this blockbuster promises to be an over-the-top spectacle, complete with the return of Jeff Goldblum's Ian Malcolm. It's pretty safe to say Fallen Kingdom won't go extinct at the box office. Life finds a way. Sicario, Day of the Soldado. You wouldn't necessarily think a movie like Sicario needs a sequel, but rest assured, Sicario, Day of the Soldado, is in good hands. Sicario scribe Taylor Sheridan, the genius behind Hell or High Water and Wind River, wrote the screenplay, resulting in what's bound to be an incredible thriller. According to The Independent, director Stefano Solima promises a more cinematic film than the first, featuring, quote, an incredible amount of huge action sequences. We're also going to get a film that's far darker than the first, with returning star Josh Brolin describing the story as severe, and Sheridan telling IndieWire that Soldado makes the first one look like a comedy. The First Purge The Purge franchise has been picking off victims and making political points since 2013. But now, with The First Purge, we'll get an answer as to how this night of bloodshed all started. Directed by newcomer Gerard McMurray and written by franchise mastermind James DeMonico, the newest film will take place before the Ethan Hawke original. DeMonico told Entertainment Weekly that the cast will be 90% black, adding to the film's socio-political message. Naturally, the film is set to hit theaters on July 4th, when fireworks will light the sky and blood will flow in the streets. Ant-Man and the Wasp Audiences are in for a marvelous time when Ant-Man and the Wasp arrives on July 6th. With Peyton Reed returning to direct, both Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly will be suiting up as the titular heroes. Apparently, the pair will attempt to rescue Michelle Pfeiffer's Janet Van Dyne from her decades-long adventure lost in the quantum realm. Lilly told Vanity Fair, If we do succeed in Ant-Man and the Wasp, then that does open a whole entire new multiverse to enter into and play around in. In other words, things are going to get super weird after Infinity War. The Equalizer 2 Ready to see a super assassin and hardware expert dispose of some gangsters with gardening tools? Your dreams may very well come true on August 3rd, when Denzel Washington returns for The Equalizer 2. Reteaming with director Antoine Fuqua, Washington is making history here, starring in his very first sequel. There aren't a lot of plot details out there, but come on, we're going to see Denzel destroy a bunch of bad guys in incredibly creative ways. What more do you need to know? Mission Impossible 
fallout. Tom Cruise's Ethan Hunt is at it again. Oh, you know, same old Ethan. Director Christopher McQuarrie returns to helm a sixth installment to the Covert Op action adventure series. McQuarrie has promised that we will, quote, get to know who Ethan is in this movie, and that our action hero will actually go on an emotional journey. Maybe that's why Michelle Monaghan is returning as Ethan's old flame. In addition to a killer cast, we're super psyched to see the crazy stunts Cruz and McQuarrie have cooked up. Cruz trained for a year to prepare for some truly insane action sequences, and we can't wait until July 27th to see how the superstar puts his life on the line this time. The Meg Cue the creepy music, because The Meg is an ancient shark that's tormenting deep-sea fishermen in this adaptation of the bestseller Meg, a novel of deep terror. The film features Jason Statham as a rescue diver who must help a stranded submarine and his crew escape the teeth of the prehistoric beast. Shark movies automatically earn creeping dread just by their nature, but this flick looks to take us into the depths of our fears. It's literally dropping the distressed crew into the deepest parts of the Pacific Ocean, so we're in for an action-packed treat. Captive State John Goodman is revisiting the sci-fi genre with Captive State an alien invasion thriller from Rupert Wyatt, the director who gave us Rise of the Planet of the Apes. According to the official plot description, the film is set in Chicago nearly a decade after an occupation by an extraterrestrial force. Captive State will focus on the lives on both sides of the conflict, the collaborators and dissidents. And we can't wait for this science fiction flick to invade movie theaters on August 17. White Boy Rick at only 14 years old, a Caucasian teenager from Detroit named Rick Worshey Jr. was recruited as a snitch by the FBI. He went on to help the feds arrest some dangerous drug lords, before becoming a big-time dealer himself. A story this wild was just begging for someone to make it into a movie. And fortunately, White Boy Rick is set to hit theaters on August 17. As real-life Ricky's story recently took a strange turn, It'll be interesting to see how these events will affect the film. White Boy Rick promises to be one of the craziest true crime stories of the year. Mandy It seems like Nicolas Cage's entire career was leading to Mandy. All the freaky faces, the on-screen breakdowns, all the awesome Nicolas Cage moments were building up to this. Oh yeah! You put your right foot in! You take your right foot out! You do the hokey pokey and you... It all out. The result is a big bloody of explosion of LSD weirdness and battle axe action mixed with rage, pain, and a lot of vodka. Mandy finds Cage playing a man who embarks on a revenge mission in a film that, according to The Verge, combines the most absurd aesthetic excesses of 70s and 80s horror films with the most absurd thespian excesses of Nicolas Cage. Which obviously makes Mandy sound like one of the greatest movies ever made. The Nun the Conjuring series is quickly making its case that horror movie franchises can also become extended universes. Following in the successes of the franchise's first spin-off, Annabelle, producers have given the demon nun from The Conjuring 2 her own film, simply titled The Nun. The plot, which may be a prequel to The Conjuring 2, involves a priest who is called in to investigate a nun's passing in Rome. If there's anything we've learned about demonic presences in Hollywood history, it's that Italy tends to provide quite a creepy backdrop. This'll definitely be one to watch. Robin Hood We've had Errol Flynn, Kevin Costner, Carrie Elwes, Russell Crowe, and an animated fox. Now it looks like Taron Edgerton will don Robin Hood's trademark green tights. Robin Hood is going to be like a medieval version of Batman Begins, showing us how Robin of Loxley became Great Britain's most famous bandit. According to Deadline, the movie will take place after Robin returns home from the Crusades, only to find that Sherwood Forest is now rife with corruption and evil. Jamie Foxx, who is playing Little John, says the movie, quote, "...looks like you're watching Zero Dark Thirty. Taking Robin Hood in a dark direction is certainly an interesting choice, and with the winning combo of Edgerton and Fox, the upcoming action flick could be one of 2018's most exciting movies." The House with a Clock in Its Walls Eli Roth isn't really known for his kid-friendly films, but he's looking to change things up with The House with a Clock in Its Walls. Based on the classic children's book, this gothic fright flick tells the story of a 10-year-old boy who's sent to live in a quiet Michigan town with his uncle, who turns out to be a warlock. There's also a witch next door, plus an apocalyptic clock, hidden in the walls of course, and things get especially tricky when our hero resurrects an evil being. This spooky movie is set to scare kids on September 21st. Thanks for watching. 
Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.